quickly before I start and to prevent hundreds of people attacking me in the comments, I gotta answer the most expected questions. First, I don't hate the guy, I have nothing against him, and I do appreciate most of his content, so... Daddy, chill. WHAT THE HELL IS EVEN THAT?! The only thing is that I don't agree with him in certain points, and just because two adults on the internet disagree with each other doesn't mean they hate each other, so keep that in mind. So try and watch the full video before you comment, please. Omar Rahman is a YouTuber and he also makes TikToks, that's how he initially blew up, especially with his motivation videos, he showcased his day and the highlights of it. I think a lot of people heard about this new trend, Not a lot about us, but I've been noticing a lot of people sending me messages at 4am lately telling me that I gotta wake up, and I'm like, SHUT YOUR STUPID- Ironically most of them don't have a solid reason to wake up early. They are only doing it because Omar over here does it like some sort of tokosiomiya in order to be as productive as possible most of the day, which is extreme unless that's fun for him, which makes him more like an AI robot than a human being. Ignoring entirely that being unproductive is just as important as being productive and also taking a massive wet diarrhea on the fact that we as humans need at least 8 hours of sleep in order to let our bodies function properly during the day and that's the recommended time by the healthcare system but it works for him. Let's focus on this sentence. It works for him. Him. Not you. Not you him and a lot of people are taking his tiktoks like a damn tutorial or a magic spell to success he almost reminds me of my dad when i was young never mind that's a bad example he reminds me of my uncle shit that's even weirder because my uncle touched me when i was the point is omar is not your dad nor your uncle he is just a dude that read about philosophy books and adopted them in his lifestyle and now he thinks he can change the world which maybe can happen in the future but for now the only change he made is make a lot of people wake up up at 4 a.m. for no reason. Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I don't care. This takes me to my next point. When I watch his TikToks, I immediately thought that he is definitely following some kind of spiritual life or maybe a philosophy, and that's exactly the case. In his recent video, he talks about how his mind thinking changed, and it turned out that he is a stoic. Stoic is a term for people that follow stoicism, which is a philosophy. When I first heard him talking about it, I kinda fell in love with the concept of it, then I started reading more. I haven't read a lot of books, I've only got a little pieces from here and there but the more I read about this philosophy the more I don't wanna be a stoic. When you google stoicism the main definition to Hahua the endurance of pain or hardship without the display of feelings and without complaint. Like any philosophy fil alam there is ijabiyat salbiyat. I wouldn't deny that stoicism can improve your life in some ways. For example you feel more calm, more productive and empowered and you can even survive through stressful times but it also can have a downside and a negative impact the problem with stoicism is that it talks about focusing only on what we can control like thoughts and actions but it rarely teaches you how to deal with things that we cannot control and suppressing your emotions isn't the solution for every problem in my opinion Stoics don't care about other people's feelings, this can be a downside too, in many situations actually. By not openly showing emotions, it's difficult for others to connect with a person that is a stoic. And by only talking about the issues that matters, you tend to force others to do the same, because that's the only way they can get a conversation with you. So in a way, you are forcing others to act in a different manner. Also stoic people have this belief that don't value too highly something that can be taken away. And I agree that this works with a lot of situations. For example, if you buy an iPhone and it gets stolen with late Kasserlek or something. If you value the phone so high, you will feel so bad and angry about losing it. So the loss of that will affect you in a negative way. Stoicism teaches you how to control your feelings by not expressing them in situations that you can't control. But this advice never works with people and human beings because they are all infinitely valuable. You see the problem? Also, I noticed that he has Momento Mori printed on his shirt, which I've never understood why thinking about that and the fact that we can die at any second is a good advice. I think it's actually a horrible advice. Yes, I know that I'm gonna die one day and I think everyone does and I accept the fact that I'm gonna die. 
eventually. It's something that I cannot control, and I do tend to forget the Odin mood uh, unless someone close to me dies. Then I remember that we're gonna die, and it hits me sometimes. But there is a reason why we forget such things, because thinking about that is depressing. And there's a reason why God didn't tell us when we're gonna die. Some people can argue and say, if you live life like there is no tomorrow, then you're probably gonna be more productive. Which it doesn't make sense in my opinion, because if I'm gonna die tomorrow, then what's the point of being productive today? I will probably just want to die today if I know there is no tomorrow because I will try everything before I die a better advice will be live life without regrets so yeah I don't agree with Memento Mori really I feel like you should not remember that all the time because there is no point it will be just depressing especially with people that have mental health issues like imagine telling a suicidal person to remember that that's like telling them to kill themselves also, I feel like one of the main problems with this philosophy, it's so self-chastising. Stoicism requires and encourages self-chastising. Well, humans are naturally going to feel bad and good throughout the day. And while I agree that leaning too much into these emotions are a bad thing, I don't know if filling them with self-chastising is the answer neither. There's an aspect of Stoicism that inspires people to be what, in my opinion, is attainable and godlike. And a lot of us are not godlike. In fact, most of us aren't. If we are going to follow the Stoics ways, we need to suppress our emotions and I feel like that's very toxic. I like being angry, I like screaming, even if it's a video game. I like to cry and laugh and smile and express all kind of emotions. And if you are a Stoic, you can't express any of these emotions. There is a reason why these emotions exist in the first place. It's to be felt, not to be suppressed. Also, by giving a Stoic advice to a non-Stoic person will be ultimately useless unless the person decides to start practicing Stoicism. And that's why I don't see how some of your TikToks can improve some people's lives and be impactful. I do agree with you about Hadrat, yes, but in many others, it will make a lot of people feel shitty and bad about themselves for not being as productive as you betray yourself to be the entirety of the day. It's so unrealistic for me and I don't think it's an ideal thing to adapt as a lifestyle, neither. Although I see how being a stoic can help you be more productive and more goal-oriented, I still don't personally feel like it's what life's about. I think it's okay to not be as productive as you, Omar. Perhaps some people live for the happy moments with their friends or their pets or with a deep emotional bond with a partner. Life isn't all about self-discipline and waking up at 4 a.m. every day and pursuing a godlike personality or seeking perfection. And I know that's gonna sound very cliche, but everyone is special the way they are. And if everyone is perfect, then no one is perfect. And for those people who are waking up at 4 a.m. with no solid reason, the way you can do it instead is understand the core concept behind stoicism. And when you understand those principles, then you can act in your own manner. You can build your own routine. You decide whether waking up at 4am is a really good thing or not. Listening to someone that tried it and worked for him, in this case Omar, it works for him perfectly. And there is reasons for that, but that doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. Without mentioning the fact that everyone needs at least 8 hours of sleep, that means which will be the most boring and depressing routine ever, in my opinion. And there is no philosopher for Alam that can tell you waking up at 4am will magically change your life. Uh, it's just impossible. Everyone have different outcomes, different experiences. All what you gotta do is find the routine that fits you and makes you happy. At the end, like I said, video uh, this video is not to hate on him if anything I'm gonna get the hate because he has a big platform and people will probably find this offensive for some reason I'm not here to say I'm right and he's wrong uh, I'm just simply showcasing my opinion I can be wrong just as I can be right I respect what he stands for and I think it's a very good thing to see others adapt different lifestyles and philosophies and I'm not against that at all. But the point of this video is to discuss why I think his belief cannot be applied on every person. So, yep, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Or hopefully you didn't myself because I talked about stoicism, but I tried to keep it very simple. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, then hit a like and subscribe. And as always, take care.